Good morning. Welcome to worship. We are so glad that you are worshiping with us as part of Cave Spring United Methodist Church, both here in the sanctuary and wherever you are participating in worship. My name is Pastor Lauren. And I'm Pastor Tim. And we are your pastoral staff here at this church. We are so glad to be worshiping with you. We hope that you'll let us be in ministry with you throughout the week. We have connect cards that are linked with this video. We encourage you to follow that link and fill out the contact information. Let us know you are worshiping with us. And most of all, let us know what prayer requests you have. Our pastors and staff review those cards every week. We look over your prayer requests and we pray for you by name. So please help us to be in prayer with and for you by filling out that Connect card this morning. Today's worship service is going to look a little bit different than normal. This week we celebrated Vacation Bible School with all of our children. And all week long they've been tuning in on the Rocky Railway Vacation Bible School. And today we've, um, we're going to experience another day. So our children are at home just like you're at home watching. And it's just going to be our fifth bonus day of Vacation Bible School. So today you'll get to experience what they've experienced. The singing, the dancing, uh, the Bible adventures, and so much more. So we're excited that we get to share that with you today. And speaking of Vacation Bible School, we do want to say thank you to all of the volunteers that helped make this possible this week. We could not have done it without you. Thank you so much. And also, one more announcement. We uh, had a mission team that was out this past week. Uh, they went out and built a ramp. They go out uh, every so often during the year and build ramps. And we're so grateful for their ministry here in the community. That is, those are some of the things that have been going on in the life of our church, and we are preparing for a new season. We know that the time of year is about at back to school, and we don't yet know what back to school is going to look like in all of our schools and all of our homes, but we ask you to be in prayer with and for us, with our children and our families, with teachers and administrators, with superintendents and principals and all those who are touched by our school system. As we are trying to figure out what to do with our community, we are also discerning what are the best ministries to offer this fall, and you can look forward to some exciting announcements about that soon. But for now, let us set our hearts in a spirit of worship. Let us pray together. Gracious God, we thank you. We thank you for a new day. We thank you for the breath in our lungs, for your spirit among us. We ask you to bless and guide our worship this morning. Help our hearts, our minds, our very beings to glorify you and help us to trust in the power of Jesus as we celebrate and worship together today. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're in the sanctuary this morning so that we can worship God. We're not in our VBS set. But first, I want to thank you for all making this week of Rocky Railway VBS such a success. I'm excited to share an incredible, power-packed week with all of you. What an amazing week we've had. And today, we are not only welcoming new kids that have been with us all week, but our entire church family joining us here on our bonus day of Vacation Bible School. To get things rolling, we're going to sing our theme song from the week called Your Power Will Pull Us Through. The words will be on the screen, and you are welcome to jump up to your feet and sing and dance along with us. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. This journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all
this journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. journey through the mighty majestic Rocky Mountains, we met a lot of new friends, sang some awesome songs, went on some amazing Bible adventures, created and ate some delicious snacks, thanks Dom, built some fun science gizmos, and so much more. It's so good to be back this morning on the Rocky Railway. It's sort of like coming home. Yeah, but Tim, I thought Vacation Bible School was over. What brought us back to the Rocky Railway? Well, I learned so much from my friends this week. I just kept thinking about Jesus' power when I got home after our last day of VBS. It was kind of like chugging and chugging through my brain. You know, like, Jesus' power, Jesus' power, Jesus' power, Jesus' power, Jesus' power, Jesus' power. Jesus power. Ah! Oh, you have way too much energy today. So what was our um, thing that we said after Bible points? Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Well, that must have been interesting for your dogs at home to see you acting like a choo-choo train. Well, that's just it. I wanted to tell people all the stuff that I learned, but I sort of forgot, you know, for being the genius train engineer, I get some things mixed up in here sometimes. Genius. Yes. Okay, really? You forgot. Well, you've come to the right place. I have an idea. I'll give you some cargo for your train that can remind you of each thing we learned about Jesus. And then you can have these on your train and we can use them to talk to your railway crew buddies. Cool? Yeah, that's awesome. I'm kind of partial to cargo. You know, we use the cargo to fill up box cars, flat cars, coal cars, and even covered wagon. And, and then there's the spine cars and the gondola bars and covered hoppers. I, I'm used to loading up those freight cars with all kinds of stuff. Do you know who we should have asked about all those cars? Who? David Mishi. David Mishi. David Mishi could have told us all about what all of those cars you mentioned just did. <laughs> I made a lot up. You probably made them all up. Okay. <laughs> but I was speaking figuratively, figuratively. I am going to give you information and remind you of the type of things we talked about this week. On our very first day of VBS, and Bible, our Bible point was, Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. This is sounding a little bit familiar now. Whew, wow. Sometimes we have heavy, hard things to do in life. And I'm not talking about heavy cargo boxes, but heavy and hard things in life. Like forgiving people, being brave enough to try new things, making new friends, or maybe moving to a new place. But you don't have to do those things on your own. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. We heard a true story from the Bible about a guy named Ananias. 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 There we go. Okay. And how he had to do a hard thing that God had asked of him. He had to trust Jesus and go talk to Paul. Talking to Paul would be nerve-wracking. That would be nerve-wracking yeah. because he did, when he was Saul, he did so many mean things. But then he wrote like all of it. Yeah. Like, oh, anyway. Well, it's starting to come back to me, I think. Hey, kids, are you remembering any of this as well? And that brings us to the second thing that we learned. I have just the thing. Do you remember the balloon? Oh, yeah. Jesus' power gives us balloons? No, not quite. But remember, we blew the balloon up. I'm not going to because of Corona. And the air inside the balloons reminds us of hope, right? Mm. 
Without hope, we're sort of flat and lifeless. Things can seem sad or impossible, but when we're filled with hope, our hearts soar high. That brings us to our day two Bible point, that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. And that was Ava the um. Yes. The eat the Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that, that is, that's what I was going to say, of course. Definitely. Not balloons, not the balloon thing. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. I was just kidding about that whole balloon thing. And our Bible story for that day was when Paul and his friends were on the boat during that storm, and they needed help, and they put their hope in Jesus. We even have a song that reminds us how powerful Jesus is. Let's sing Power in the Blood. So heavy stuff can remind us that Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. And the floaty balloons remind me that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. What do we have next, and should I be worried? Um, well, it's very bright. Bright. Okay, so. Oh, that is bright, yeah. That's a bright light. Wow, I've never hauled anything like that before on a train. It's very bright. This is really going to stand out against the other stuff if it's shining the light everywhere. That's the idea. It's bright, it's bold, it jumps out, and it reminds us of our third Bible point, that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Well, I love to use this train whistle. <laughs> But when it comes to being bold and brave myself, well, sometimes that's hard. I, I could use this little Jesus power for that. It can be hard to stand up for what's right or to talk about Jesus, or even to pray at school. That takes courage and boldness. This light will stand out and remind you that Jesus gives you his power and courage. You can be bold. The Bible tells us about two friends who really needed Jesus' power to be bold. It was Peter and John. They were really needed Jesus' help to be bold and share with others about Jesus, even if that meant, meant they were going to jail. This boxcar in my head, it's filling up with some good reminder, but there's still some room left. Um, what's next? I hope you have a lot of space left in your boxcar. You're going to need it. We wrapped up our week by discovering our Bible point for day four. That's Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. 
I need Jesus' power to help me to be a good friend. Well, I know this cool crew of kids that are watching today will be there for me, plugging me into Jesus' power. These kids were awesome this week, like William and Emma and Colin and Parker. And Lawrence and Charlotte, uh, Ward, Ariana, Emmett and JoJo. JoJo. Connor, Carter, Jocelyn, Amy, Daniela. And MJ, Reed, Duncan, Ada and Grace. Aww. And Kylie and Connor, Margaret, Caleb and Corbin. And Joey and Andy and uh, Isla and Jeffrey and so, so many, many more. We had an awesome week at Rocky Railway. We sure did. But let's not forget about today. We have one more Bible point, one more Bible adventure, one more kid vid, and one more imagination station. So let's get straight into today's bonus BBS day. Okay. Well, we've been imagining what it's like to be on a steam engine all week, traveling through the massive Rocky Mountains. It takes a lot of power to pull a heavy train through those steep, windy mountains. You and that whistle. That makes me wonder, what else is powered by steam? Did some, so, so I did some research. Some power plants use steam and they give power to entire cities. A long time ago, steam powered tractors, cars, ships. Steam can create a lot of power. Hmm. Today we're talking about God's son, Jesus, and the awesome, huge, bigger than death power he has. That's a verse in the Bible that reminds us that the same mighty, awesome, unbelievable power that brought Jesus back to life lives inside us. If you traveled on a train, your trip would have a beginning and an end. Life is like that too. We all begin when we're born and our lives end when we die. Let's look closer at that for a minute. Let's imagine that this water is life. All right, so you're born and you go to preschool, maybe, and then elementary school. You're gonna go to college. You're gonna pay taxes, a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna work for a really long time. Well, that's exciting. You're gonna have grandkids. But at some point, your life is gonna to come to an end. It runs out, there's no more. When we think about the end of life, it can make us really be sad. But Jesus' power is amazing. With Jesus' power, we can have life in heaven. And that life will go on and on and on. And Jesus, who is our living well, well, his water never runs out. And everything pours over. And that's our Bible point for today. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Our life on earth will end, but because of Jesus, we can have the power to live with Jesus in heaven forever. To make that happen, Jesus had to give up on his own life by dying on a cross. You'll hear more about that later. But let's sing about one of the songs we learned this week. This train is bound for glory. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Place 
Jill, you, really, that was one of my favorite songs from this week. Hmm. Well, I wonder who could help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. You see, each day we have a Bible memory buddy that helps us remember our Bible point for the day. Let's find out who it is for today. Are you ready to splash into another fantastic day at BBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatched is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat. And sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food, my eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow. Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. <laughs> wow! So if you're feeling worried or sad or things seem out of control, Remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything, and it's right there for you. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Finn is a fantastic and surprising reminder of Jesus' power and love. But now it is time to head on to the rest of the activities for our bonus day at Vacation Bible School. Next, you are headed to Bible Adventures, then KidVid, then Imagination Station, and finally you will end up right back here for Rocky Wrap Up. Now, church, we know only the kids will have the supplies for our Imagination Station, but we invite you to sit back and watch all the fun. You're going to have a fantastic day at Rocket, Rocky Railroad. See you soon. See you right back here. Good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be with you this Sunday to share in our last Bible adventures to finish this wonderful week of VBS. We had an amazing week. Even though this year was different, it was still an amazing experience. This morning, I am going to share a Bible story with you that not only changes my life, but it changes all of our lives. All of us who are together this morning, though virtually, for worship are friends. I am a friend of God. You are a friend of God. We are all friends. God created each and every one of us carefully and wonderfully. He took time to create our hair color, our eyes, our skin color, our personalities, our gifts, our talents. God gave us all bodies, bones, brains, and even the blood that runs in our veins. 
God made us all in his image, and we are all awesome creations that should be celebrated, every single one of us. To celebrate my friends, I created this heart and wrote the names of some of my friends that I learned with this week. Everyone on this heart and in the world was created with love and care. When God created us out of perfect love, God had a plan in mind, a perfect plan. God's plan was for all of us to be connected and to have a close bond or a close friendship. However, we humans thought we knew better and believed that we could live our lives our way and that we did not need God. Even today, we still believe we can, just, we can do better on our own, just as Adam and Eve. Yet we also realize that there are times we do need God in our lives. We believe that on our own, we can win, earn, and achieve God's love. But that is a lie. And that lie slowly separates us from God and slowly breaks the bond we have. When we, when we make the wrong choices, when we sin, when we become apart from God and break apart more of God's perfect plan, it rips our, apart our friendship with God. It makes our life a mess. And this is not what God wants for us. So God did something amazing. God sent his only son, Jesus, to live with us on earth. The Bible tells us that Jesus came and lived with us for a very long time. And the special thing about Jesus was that instead of thinking that he needed to win, earn, and achieve things to win God's love, Jesus earned it a different way. Jesus would share God's love in small ways. He would heal people, he would feed crowds of hungry people, he walked on water, he calmed storms, and he raised people from the dead. Jesus did some amazing things, and he did it all because he was God's son, and he had the power of God behind him. And it was with that power that Jesus did something so powerful, so amazing, that no one could ever do some, anything like it since. And the beautiful, surprising thing is that Jesus did it for everyone. Not just me, not just you, <laughs> but everyone. During Jesus' life, not everyone believed that Jesus was God's son. Some people thought that he was a liar, and that made them angry. It made them mad enough that they took Jesus and they were mean to him. They made him carry a rough, old, rugged cross across the land and up a hill in Golgotha. There they took Jesus and nailed his hands and feet to the cross and left him to die. Only bad people and criminals were put to death on the cross. But Jesus had never sinned. He was God's son. How could this happen? Well, it happened because we as humans made a bad decision and it caused us to feel shame. Shame for what we had done and how we had separated ourselves from God. Out of love, Jesus decided that he would take all of that shame away from us and try to bring us closer to God. Jesus took that shame, that sin, and he died with it on the cross. Though Jesus had never sinned, never, had, never made a bad decision, he willingly died for all of the people that made bad decisions. He loved us so much that he took the punishment for those decisions all upon himself. He knew that this was the only way he could, we could heal with our God. Sometimes we value what we accomplish in life, like when we win a sports game or graduate from high school or win a level in a video game. And it's okay to be proud of those things, but to make sure we do not put those things above the most important. We can't help but to make wrong decisions and no matter what we do, we cannot save ourselves from it. But with the help from Jesus, we can. Only Jesus can save us. But Jesus' story did not end at the cross. He is God's son, and with God's power, a power that is stronger than death, three days after Jesus had died, something incredible happened. In Matthew 28, two through four, it describes that this amazing event by telling us that, I know you, who you were looking for, Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said he would happen. Come see where his body is, was laying. Jesus' power beat death that day for Jesus, but today he beat death for you and me. The Bible promises us that, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life, John 3.16. During this week, we have learned that Jesus' power helps us to do hard things, that Jesus' power gave us hope, that Jesus' power will help us be bold, and that Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. Today we learn that Jesus' power lets us live forever. We cling to the cross because of Jesus and the promise of hope, love, and power that it represents. 
Jesus died and ascended into heaven to make a place for us that is so beautiful, so amazing that we cannot even imagine it. With Jesus' power and love, there can be no more tears or sadness, and God's peace and glory are everywhere. And that, that is something that we can always cling to. We can live forever with Jesus. Amen. Hey, and welcome back to our Kid Vid segment. Today we're not going to be making any snacks. I know, I'm bummed too. But we'll get to enjoy one more Bible story and Kid Vid before you all enjoy the rest of your summer here. Today's video, we learn of Isaac, who had a loss in his family. Yes, I know, sometimes it is sad to have a loss or to lose things. Well, in this case, he had a brother and his brother died of cancer, which is a disease. It sounds sad, but when you have faith and you have hope and you trust in the power of Jesus to live forever, we'll see where that spirit brings his happiness. I'm Isaac and I'm 11 years old. Uh, at home I like to, well a lot of times I play video games. I have two brothers, one's older than me, he's into acting and singing. My younger brother, Elijah, he's seven. My sister's name is Zoe, but she, like a normal four-year-old toddler, will make messes all the time, paint on the walls. Isaac also dances. Uh, I started dancing, I think like two years ago. My favorite kind of dance is contemporary or lyrical. It's sort of like ballet, but it's a little more free. I always felt like when I was dancing, I wasn't really stressed about anything or worried. Sort of forget about anything else that is bothering you. Isaac had another brother named Joel. Joel was two years younger than I am. He was always really happy and joyful. When he was one, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. Cancer is a disease that most kids do not have or get. He had to do some crazy thing to get rid of it and it was gone for a year. But then it came back and they said he only had a few months to live, but then he lived five more years. Sadly, Isaac's little brother, Joel, died. One of the things I remember a lot about him is he always had that like little giggle. <laughs> he, he always loved knocking cup towers down. So he'd make one that was like maybe double the size of him and he'd run into it and it would come down and he'd laugh so hard. A lot of times we'd take him to this farm. It was like a petting zoo in some places and you could feed the animals. I have this one mem memory of Joel. He, he was feeding the goats. So we give him the bag to reach in and <laughs> give to the goats. But then he just gives the bag to the goats and the goat devours oh. the whole thing. <laughs> Joel always loved animals. One time he got to ride a pony and he was so happy. He loved it. Isaac misses his brother Joel. Joel loved Jesus and believed in him too. Um, a lot of times I feel sort of like I miss him and pretty sad, but I'm glad that he's in heaven and he can do so many things that I can't even do right now. <laughs> Dancing always like cheers me up because I sort of, it makes me think about God and how he's with Joel and he is amazing. <laughs> Isaac knows that because of Jesus, he will be able to see his brother again in heaven. I sort of look forward to hearing his giggle and I look forward to running up to him and giving him a grand old hug. <laughs> In the Bible, the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 11 says, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. I feel like that verse makes me feel like sort of hopeful that we can 
share the power of God and the Holy Spirit with the whole world and that one day we can all know Jesus and God and praise and worship together. Even if we die, we still get to live forever in heaven with God and Jesus' power is letting you live forever. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Welcome back. Yes, Isaac did have some sad times, but he also knew that Jesus' power lets us live forever. In today's Bible verse, we learn that the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you and me, all of us. That's from Romans 8, 11. Now, is there someone maybe you lost in your family or friend? Or maybe sometimes you just misplace something and you're very sad until it's found. Well, in Jesus Christ, all is found once again in heaven. So keep that faith alive. And remember, Jesus' power lets us live forever. It's been a wonderful time having you around this week, enjoying our snacks and our kid vids. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and remember, be safe. Bye-bye. Welcome back to Rocky Rack Wrap Up. But before we wrap it all up, we thought we should share some God sightings from this week. All week long, we've asked children to be looking for God sightings, where they see God at work in their lives. We asked the parents to send in pictures of their children experiencing Bible school at home. Here are some pictures from this week.
That was awesome. It was so good to see you guys having fun at home this week. Unfortunately, it is time to wrap up Bible school. But if you want to experience it again, or you want to share Jesus with your friends, our VBS videos will remain up on the web until the end of August. We have enjoyed every minute we have had together this week. But as with everything, it comes to an end. Passengers get on the train, the conductor shouts, all aboard, and their journey begins. Trains make stops along the way, and so passengers can go sightseeing and do fun things. But eventually the train reaches the end of the journey. A buffer stop, kind of like this big X, is placed at the end of the track to indicate the end of the line. This means that the train journey has ended. With no more tracks, there is nowhere for the train to continue. Our life journey is a lot like a train journey. Every life has a beginning and an end. At the beginning of our journey, we're born. And you grow up, you go to school, you get jobs, and eventually we end up having grandkids that come to vacation Bible school. And after all of those wonderful moments, our lives end. Every journey ends. It can't continue. It can't move forward. A train without a track can't move forward. It would de derail. Our lives can't go on forever without Jesus. We're at the end of the line. Just like the train when it comes to the buffer stop. Only Jesus can remove this barrier. Jesus died on the cross for you and me. Jesus' power over death lets us live forever with him. The Bible says the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. So let's sing a song about the powerful thing that Jesus did for us. And it's called the old rugged cross.
What a great way to end our rocky railway adventure together. My daddy used to sing that song all the time when I was little. Knowing that with the power of Jesus can pull us through anything, even death itself, Jesus made a way for life to go on. The journey to go on forever. But before we go, would you pray with me? The words will be on the screen and everyone get your hands ready. One, two, three. God, we thank you for Jesus and for the power of the cross. Thank you for loving us enough to make a home in heaven for your friends. We love you, and in Jesus' powerful name, amen. Well, friends, that's all for the Rocky Railway Express. Our Vacation Bible School comes to an end. But don't worry. K-Spring Clubhouse will be back next Sunday with more fun, Bible adventures, and songs, and we'll have our winter VBS coming up this winter. And next summer, we'll have another awesome week of Vacation Bible School. That's right, Tim. And be on the lookout as well as we will announce the themes for the winter of Vacation Bible School and next summer's Bible School really soon, probably before the end of summer. I cannot wait to find out what the themes are. But that's all for now. We know uh, we now hand things back over to Pastor Lauren to end our worship together. Take care and we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Thanks again to Pastor Tim and all those who helped make Vacation Bible School a success this year. It was a wonderful experience, at least at my house, and I hope it was at yours too, as we all learned to trust Jesus. Now, let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for your power at work in the world. We thank you for your mighty acts of salvation. We thank you for your presence in our lives. And we ask that you would continue to work in our world today. There are so many places, Lord, where we see brokenness, where we see hurt. We ask for your healing touch. Lord, bring your justice where oppression and injustice reign. Bring your peace in the midst of conflict. Bring your healing wherever it is needed, in homes and hospitals and nursing care facilities. Lord, pour out your spirit and bring new life to our everyday patterns and activities. Help us to witness to your power each and every day. Lord, as we approach a time for a new school year, we ask your guidance, your protection for all those who are in the midst of our school system. For school boards, superintendents, principals, administrators, school staff, teachers, bus drivers, for all the students in universities and colleges, in high schools and middle schools and elementaries and preschools. Lord, bring your blessing to our community, to our church, to our nation, and to our world as we pray together as Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, we offer our prayers, we also offer ourselves, our time, our talents, our gifts, our resources to the work of God in the world. We encourage you to give of your time, to care for your neighbors, and to continue to support the ministries of the church with your generous giving. You can find a Vanco link on our website, and we encourage you to give to support what God is doing in our community. Let us bring our gifts, let us bring ourselves. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have blessed us enormously with life, with health, with abilities and talents, with time and resources. We thank you and we offer you a portion of those gifts. Lord, bless and use all that we offer you that we may teach the whole world to trust in Jesus and in your saving grace. Amen.
We want to thank you for being with us in worship this morning. And as we conclude our service, we hope that you've had some fun. We've hoped that you have praised God during these times through the singing, through the dancing, and all the fun things that we've had this week. We encourage you, all the children that have participated this week, we have shared the gospel this week. And these videos are going to remain on the internet through August. So we invite you to take these videos out, show them to your friends, have your friends watch them, share the gospel of Jesus Christ, because that's what we're called to do. So as we go today, I remind you that you are blessed, and you've been blessed by hearing the gospel. Now go out and be the gospel to the world. Amen. Thank you.